madam president sinn fin wants to see the creation of a social europe a europe of democracy at its core and a europe that is closer to citizens. it is clear that the right wing agenda of these institutions and several eu leaders is being put before the needs of citizens. the failed policies of deregulation austerity discrimination and scapegoating are at the heart of the eu reform agenda heading into february's council. cameron and tusk's vision for europe is that of a race to the bottom and of disregard for the concept of human rights and equality and along with the attacks on workers' rights and migrant rights contained in these proposals, the agenda of the British Government is to undermine the human rights as evident in its proposed repeal of the Human Rights Act, which gives effect to the European Convention of Human Rights. You know, Brexit and the repeal of the Human Rights Act have implications for Ireland, have implications for the Good Friday Agreement, and there is not a mention of that. So whilst the EU is in need of radical reform, it's clear that these proposals are pushing the EU reform in the wrong direction. In most international agreements, disputes or otherwise, it's all about the economy, stupid. In the case of Brexit, it's all about human rights, stupid. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Um, Mr. Smith wants to ask a question of you, if that's okay. Please make sure that the question is really directed to Ms. Anderson. Absolutely, President. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful to my Irish colleague for giving way. And coming from Scotland, the diversity of the United Kingdom is, of course, very important, where we have very different domestic politics. We have elections in the north of Ireland, in Scotland and Wales in May. Would you agree with me that it's a democratic outrage for the vote to be held in June? That would be disrespectful to Northern Irish, Scottish and Welsh democracy. And further, given that we have different attitudes to the European Union within Scotland, the North of Ireland and Wales, would you agree with me that it would be a democratic outrage for those countries to be taken out of the EU against our democratic will? Taken out of the EU against our democratic will. Thank you for, for that question. I think I would absolutely concur with what you're saying with regards to Ireland's places in Europe, just as you're saying Scotland's places in Europe. And we hope that an English vote on this does not result in the north of Ireland being taken out of the EU. And therefore, we would argue that for the north of Ireland, and perhaps you're saying the same for Scotland, that there should be a separate referendum and it should be calculated and counted separately, and that should be respected.